Today we're going to compare the Upper Baby Vista V2 and the Baby Jogger City Select 2, two larger size tandem capable models sold at different price points that we've had requests from viewers to pit against each other, presumably, in order to see whether the more expensive model, the Vista, is actually worth the hiking cost. So let's jump straight into it then, looking at the advantages and disadvantages of each model in turn, and focusing on their differences in terms of child comfort, ease of use, longevity and driving characteristics, before ending with a discussion of under what conditions and uses one might make a better choice over the other. And starting off with the Vista, the model weighs in at 12.5 kilos and folds down to 44 by 65 by 85 centimeters, with the seat attached. It can take the standard 22 kilos in the seat and 13.6 kilos in the underslung shopping basket. The Vista seat has generous dimensions for a tandem stroller, which is partly a result of the choice to build the second, attachable rumble seat shorter, allowing more room for the main seat, and has an inside width of 32 centimeters and a total length of 105, measured by adding up the lengths of the backboard, baseboard, leg rest, and space beneath the canopy. When it comes to parent comfort, the Vista's handle is adjustable between 100 and 107 centimeters, and the model has a very large and accessible shopping basket. Folding the Vista is easy, the process feels sturdy, both in terms of the rigid overall chassis structure, as well as in the feel of the activation mechanisms, and the folded package is self-standing, which is nice for not having to bend as much when loading it in and out of the trunk. Looking at longevity, the main structure of the chassis is simply designed and held together with sturdy bars and reinforced hinges and connection points and also has good cross support, which is important for keeping the model from loosening up horizontally. The model's suspension loaded support struts provide excellent shock absorption, which, in addition to making it more pleasant to drive over bumpy terrain, also helps to protect the chassis structure from wear. The brake system and swivel locks on the Vista are a bit too complex for my taste and require lubrication from time to time to keep them properly functional, but beyond this, this is one of those models that you can expect to last for a long time, as attested to by the wide number of Vista V1s still out there on the secondhand market. And Upper Baby is also pretty good at keeping spare parts and service available even for discontinued models, should problems occur past the warranty date. When it comes to driving, in single child mode, the Vista is one of my favorite tandem models on the current market, capable of tackling rougher conditions like cobblestones and well-maintained forest trails, thanks to a sturdy build and excellent suspension. In the tandem configuration, however, the model gets naturally longer, which has a negative impact on making steering and tipping, as one must do to go up a curb for example, a lot heavier. The Vista still provides decent shock absorption for the most part in tandem mode with regards to its performance over rougher ground, but the ability to actually get over obstacles is reduced by that increase in frontal weight. Alright, let's move on to the Select then, where the model clocks in at a roughly identical weight of a little over 12 kilos and folds down to a slightly longer, though also flatter, 96 by 61 by 30 centimeters with the seat attached. The model has a slightly lower weight capacity with its seat at a little over 20 kilos and its shopping basket that maxes out at 7 kilos. The select seat is also a bit smaller than the Vista's, 30 centimeters in width and 99 in total length, but it's worth noting here that the tandem seat is identical to the main seat with the select, while as I already said, it's smaller on the Vista. The textiles, canopy, and harness on the Select are a bit lower quality than with the Vista in my opinion, but are still decent overall, and in relation to the wider market, are a bit above a lot of comparably priced models. When it comes to parent comfort, the Select has an adjustable handle with a height range between 103 and 109 centimeters, and a shopping basket that's decently sized, though unfortunately a bit harder to access due to the positioning of the rear crossbar. When it comes to folding the Select, the European and American versions of the chassis are different, with the European version having a handle-mounted fold, and the American version sticking with the folding mechanisms of the Select's previous iterations, handles at the center of the chassis, right on the folding locks themselves. In both cases, the process is easy but takes more finger strength than with the Vista, and the model also doesn't fold down to a standing position, which can make it a bit less comfortable to handle when loading in and out of the car. Looking at longevity, the Select is also built quite sturdily, with good cross support, and is even a bit simpler in its mechanisms in terms of both its brake system and the fact that it doesn't have swivel locks at all for the front wheels. 
Looking at driving, the Select unfortunately entirely lacks rear suspension, which means that jolts from the terrain will have a greater impact on wearing down its connection points, and also makes the model a lot less comfortable to use over rougher ground than the Vista. And in addition, the Select is also both longer and narrower than the Vista, making it heavier to steer and tip, even in its single child mode, as well as more of a chore to handle with two children. So which of these two should you get then? Not looking at price, the Vista V2 wins hands down in my opinion, simply by virtue of having a much more capable single child mode, which for me is a key, if not the key, to a good tandem stroller, since this sort of model is all about convertibility. That being said, the Select 2 is a lot cheaper than the Vista, so if price is a major factor, and if you definitely need a tandem model, as in you will be switching between one and two child modes over a period of years due to the age difference between your children, and you don't necessarily need the Vista's better terrain capability and are willing to deal with a bit heavier maneuverability, then the Select 2 can make an okay purchase as well. In any case, we hope you found this video interesting, and if you did, please subscribe, as this sort of support really helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about either of these models, we have standalone reviews that go into a lot more detail, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you're currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find it by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.